is the uh, independent variable on the x-axis and the current I in amps is dependent variable on the y-axis. And this goes from 9 down to 1. Okay, and the current measure current. So we can measure current with a ammeter. What can be used to measure voltage? We can measure voltage with a voltmeter. What can be used to measure uh, resistance? An ohmmeter. I'm not sure if there's two ohms or one. Um, the same here actually. Uh, why is this normally used? This is uh, inaccurate. Okay, and then D, the voltage and current from the simple experiment is shown below. So somebody ran a, a change in voltage to a resistor and measured the current they got. Uh, extend the table to show the resistance. Okay, so we know that resistance is V over I. this uh, four significant figures or four decimal places, but the same in this case. Actually, let's make it three, because that's kind of normal to present our answer to in the exam. Yeah, so to three significant figures, um, that is the resistance. Um, and to plot this data, oh, not PDF, PD. Okay. Insert. Chart. So what we notice here is that the resistance isn't actually changing that much. In fact, it's roughly a constant. is um, I against V and the x-axis is potential difference in volts. Current against voltage. Potential difference in volt and current in amps. Question 4. looks like. So quite a reasonably straight lined graph there. And then lastly, um, what have we noticed about the value of R? So the value of R is roughly speaking a constant, which is actually meaning that uh, the graph will look roughly like a straight line. Now it's important to know that it doesn't have to be a straight line. It's not always a straight line and it's not exactly a straight line but in some cases we consider it uh, as being a straight line and we'll talk more about that later in the chapter 
And the example I give, so I've done this and E, I've done that as well, and F, R is roughly constant. And the example I give is with distance, speed, and time. So you know the distance this person travels. And you know the time uh, it takes them to travel this. So you can work out the speed. If you double the distance they travel, and if the time doubles, then yeah, the uh, speed will be uh, the same. But what will happen in real life is that in both these cases the speed will change slightly because maybe someone who walks twice as far doesn't walk as fast. So it can be roughly the same and roughly a constant, but we understand that if we make the distance really, really great, we actually could reduce the speed. And so we can not always say that resistance is constant, but often we can. In this particular case, we can say the resistance seems to be staying at about 0 0.5. And because we know that the ore is staying at about 0 0.5, it means knowing the V means we instantly know the I and vice versa. Whereas in real life, uh, we need to know at least two of these things. So if the ore was constant, then we only actually need, as soon as we knew what it is, then for any V, we can work out the I. But really, what it is, is if we have three things, we should always know at least two of them before we can work out the third one, if they're all changing. It's just that the ore doesn't really change so much.